you might be familiar with these type of watt meters. They are very useful for measuring the voltage, the wattage and the amperage and also the capacity of the battery while you have it connected to an e-bike. However, when the battery turns off, you lose all this data. A customer a few years ago that bought one of these from me, he told me that you can insert like 9 volts here and it will stay on. So you can use this as a capacity tester and have all the data saved. I do not remember exactly how he did it. I think he used a 9 volt source. I found an online manual from another seller that claims it needs to be 4.8 but I'm using a 12 volt power source and it turns on fine and it was also very difficult to figure out which was positive and negative and why it was three wires. One of the manual states that the third wire is a reset and that is not used. You need kind of a special wire to connect here. They are called GST. This is a GST that that is for batteries and for the IMAX B6 and other hobby testers that you find on LiPo batteries. And it is too big to fit in here. So you will need a smaller size GST, but you need a one with a 2.54 pitch. And it's difficult to orient it the right way. You can put it in both right way or upside down. Uh, it's really not meant for having it and run on an external battery, but I will show you how I figured out where it goes. It's just disconnect here. From the manuals that I can find, the positive and negative uh, are close together, not on the sides. So you have one loose wire. And the way I figured it out, I measured the wires and then I checked at the display and it has VSS and VDD. And VSS is supposed to be the negative and it comes first in the display. And then I can figure out it's the first cable that goes here, that is the negative and the positive is there for the next cable and the third one from the top down is not used. Let's try and connect it again to 9 volts and here I'm using my very handy super power bank which has an adjustable voltage and it runs fine at 9 volts as well. Let's see if it runs at 5 volts. Uh, you can see the LCD turns on uh, but the backlight is very very low so you can't run it on 5 volts or 6 volts. So let's switch up to 9 again. And here you can see the difference, it gets enough power to power the LCD fully and up to 12 and you have no difference. 9 to 12 volts is recommended and the top one is negative, the middle one is positive and the third one is not used. <laughs> 